discharged. The hospital uh, is open to visitors as normal. Let's stay with this story and let's talk to Zaira Grant, the Legal and Policy Director at the Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants. Uh, very good evening to you and thanks for coming in. Um, the police have talked about victims here, victims of trafficking. Uh, that may be true, it may not be. We simply just don't know at this stage. Uh, they are suspected illegal, illegal immigrants, stowaways. Uh, quite clearly their situation was, was desperate when they were found. What do you think is going on here? Well, like you say, we simply don't know, but given that we had 35 people in a container for what seems like a considerable length of time, given the dehydration and the effects they were suffering, it would appear that a gang is involved. You know, it seems like it's a, their entire families of their children involved as well. Do we know that as fact? We don't know that as fact. We do know their children, but we don't know the number. Um, in fact, the police officer speaking said they haven't been able to ex give us exact figures, which is, you know, given... We're 12 was, hours in, as he said. Absolutely, uh, but, but we really should know by now how many people we're talking about and how many are children especially because they're going to be taken to detention centres after this mm. and we shouldn't be detaining children, but um, that's another point. So, no, we don't know, um, but it is likely one does suspect a gang is involved. The police clearly think, seem to think so and they are, they are talking about victims of trafficking, mm. which sadly is on the increase and is occurring a lot. The way these containers work, is our understanding anyway, is that they are, they're sealed at the point of disembarkation, they're opened at the, at the point finally when they're unloaded. Now that could be here in Tilbury. It could be the case that they were going to be put on the back of a lorry or the back of a, a freight train and opened at a, a subsequent destination. We simply don't know. But we can say with confidence that these people, either through intermediaries or themselves, put their lives very much in the hands of people who didn't really care all that much whether they were going to survive when they reached their final destination, yeah. wherever that was. That's right, and that is the problem and the dangers of these criminal gangs who do traffic people. You know, they are ruthless gangs. People put themselves at great risk on a, um, for long periods of time and, and many don't survive. And sadly, we do have one tragedy here. We mm. do have the death of one man. Um, it is very, well, we're very pleased to hear that the others are actually out of danger. But the People will take extreme measures to flee their countries, mm. whether it's for economic reasons or persecution, and to come here. G given those drivers, some will say it makes it all the more important that a clear signal is sent out that it's very difficult to gain illegal access to this country. Well, that's interesting you say that, you see, because our message is that it is very difficult to come to this country illegally. That is our message, and the government has put a lot of policies in place to ensure that that message is if heard. If it was impossible, they wouldn't try. Would they not? You see, what we're finding, I mean, f look at Fortress Europe. The whole of the EU has spent millions of pounds, as have we, in trying to prevent people from coming into Europe, and we try and prevent people from coming into the UK. So we should have an Does open door work? policy and welcome Abs anybody? Absolutely not. No, quite the opposite. We cannot sustain an open door policy. That would make no sense. But if our policy is to prevent people coming here, at whatever cost, and this is particularly relevant to non-EU because we can't control EU movement, what we're finding is that people who want to come, who are desperate to come, will find ways, and that plays into the gangs, and that increases criminality, and that's when tragedies like this occur. Uh, the police have told us these people are being treated as, as victims, that was the word they used. Uh, they say they are not under arrest, but they will be uh, detained under immigration powers. Uh, these people, it seems, are about to be treated as any other would-be suspected illegal immigrants to this country. Are you happy with that? Um, that is how they'll be treated. They will be put in detention centres because they will not have papers. They've come in, into the country illegally. If the police can find and it can be proven that they are victims of trafficking, then they'll be dealt with in a separate way and there'll be a different system and they'll be dealt with, d treated as victims and will have a right, if once that is proven, to remain here for a year. Um, but for the time being, they will be treated as any other illegal entrant and I am concerned if they're children and they are going to be sent to detention centres, especially given it's the weekend, um, when will these interpreters arrive, when will we know what is happening and in the meantime, of course, yes, they'll be detained. Sorry, Grant. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.